we warmly welcome you to welcome the board and management of Cadre on behalf of the council, management, and staff of the Nigerian Stock Exchange to this facts behind the capital reduction presentation. Cadre Nigeria, of course, is a very familiar name to all of us, an iconic name in the Nigerian capital markets, in the Nigerian consumer markets. The company was incorporated in January 1965 and started off as a trading company importing uh, Cadbury products and sourcing cocoa from here for uh, Cadbury, the production of Cadbury uh, products in the UK. Yeah. Of course, with the growing markets and growing demand, the company rapidly evolved to a manufacturing outfit and established its first manufacturing facility in 1965 in Ikeja. Became listed on the Nigerian Stock Exchange in 1976. Without further ado, I'll turn it over now to Cadbury to take us through their slides and give us the facts behind the recent capital reduction. Thank you. Um, just a by introduction of our company, um, we've been in Nigeria for over 50 years and uh, we're listed at this exchange, we were listed in 1976, so we are, I would call, we are very mature in this exchange. Our company has delivered very strong returns to its shareholders over this time frame. Um, I will quote market capitalization on the 31st of December 2013 because I think I'm with people who know what it is right now. And the market cap as at that time was about 185 billion naira based on the price that this is the uh, value before the capital reduction was con concluded. Um, our share capital over the years has increased um, significantly from the combination of um, uh, various issues that we've had and also from uh, various bonus and, and um, capital raising that we've had at the exchange. The last time we visited the exchange was in 2009 uh, when we had a rights issue. Um, as at 31st of December 2012, and we quote 2012 because when we started the process for the capital reduction, we started before 2013, so we were not allowed to use 2013 numbers. But as at 31st of December 2012, our company had in its share capital account uh, 1.6 billion naira and 11.5 billion naira in its share premium account, all as part of the shareholders' fund. I just want to take a step back and give visibility as far as um, Cadbury Nigeria PLC is concerned and our parent company. Cadbury Nigeria PLC's parent uh, company um, used to be a company called Kraft Foods, a U.S. conglomerate, a, a multinational, uh, and uh, about a, a year and a half ago, Kraft Foods uh, split its business into two, one part Kraft Food North America and the snacking business, the global snacking business became, uh, was split and is now called Mondelez International. That company is now um, uh, on, the stock, on the NASDAQ registration, so it is a standalone snacking powerhouse on NASDAQ. So our, our uh, parent company now is called Mondelez International. We're part and parcel of that snacking powerhouse uh, international company. Within that uh, snacking powerhouse, we have access to many global brands, as well as innovation and know-how. So we are very fortunate to have access to uh, these uh, new products, innovation pipeline, uh, which which will continue to help us to fuel the growth of our business going forward. If I come closer to this part of the world, Nigeria and West Africa, I mean, Nigeria is the, f uh, the, the biggest economy in, in Africa, and the commitment of the uh, of the business is uh, paramount and is 100%. So for us to, our view of the Nigerian market, we take a long-term view and our commitment to continue to invest and grow our business is without a doubt. 
these businesses in, in, uh, in uh, are, Cadbury has been in, in business uh, in Nigeria for almost 50 years, as you just heard. We have iconic brands. Uh, we got uh, the favorite food drinks of Nigeria, uh, Bombita. We have two manufacturing plants that are manufacturing uh, the Bombita and also we process our own cocoa. So we've invested heavily uh, in backward integration uh, and cocoa processing. That is a significant investment that we put in place. And we are the only company uh, within the food uh, cocoa beverages that has backward integration and processes its own cocoa. And that is, I think, the major uh, competitive advantage for us. From a quality perspective, we get the right quality of cocoa that is paramount for our, for our, uh, for our brand. Also, we have the uh, nation's favorite candy. Do you know what the name is? Tom Tom, thank you very much. And uh, we continue to invest behind our candy portfolio. And you can see on the screen, we recently introduced uh, new flavors of Tom Tom. And if you're a football fan, you will see us uh, um, supporting. We are the national uh, official sponsors of the Super Eagles. So we invest heavily behind our brands, our manufacturing, and our equity building of our brands. I mean, so we're very passionate about that. Looking ahead, our strategy is very clear. Continue to drive growth within our current portfolio and in a phased manner introduce new brands and new categories. And that is our strategy going forward. This is a very, very important market for us and we are highly committed to continue to be present and, and lead the way and deliver growth. Coming back to the, the cash or the, the capital reduction, what was said by my colleague with regards to the excess cash was that we believe all the investment that we need to do over the next three to five years, we can fund it from our current business. There is no need for us to, at this point in time, we, don't, we didn't see ourselves dipping into the surplus cash that we were sitting on. Hence the reason to look at what to do with that cash. And we went through the, the, the number of options and decided to give it back to the shareholders. That does not uh, suggest our lack of appetite in investing in this market. It actually gives the message that our business uh, continues to be healthy. We're, if you look at our financial results for the nine months, and what we have delivered after the rights issue is ahead of what we promised. Am I correct? Yes. So we are generating profit and, and cash ahead of what was committed in the rights issue at that time. And our business continues to deliver growth. So that's basically what it meant as far as our decision to give back to uh, the, the excess cash to the shareholders.